Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving or we're going to try to solve an awesome system. Now, why do I call it awesome? Because math is always awesome, but this system is special because we have three variables, but only two equations. Are we solving for integers? The answer is no. This is not a Diophantine system where we look for integer or rational solutions. We're looking for real solutions. Are there any complex solutions? Hopefully you can answer that question in the comment section down below. So I'm going to leave it open-ended. But let's go ahead and try to solve this system. And I'll be presenting two methods, even though there is probably a third method, which I couldn't really think right away, so, and I don't want to keep it too long. So let's go ahead and start with the first method. But please let me know if you know any other method besides this. I'm pretty sure you guys are very good at this. You guys are very good at math, by the way, so good job. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a common denominator here because this is a fraction, and hopefully that will give us more information. So it's kind of like an interesting situation. Think about it. We have three numbers whose sum is 0, and then you take the reciprocals, and that sum is also 0. So doesn't that kind of tell you that one of the numbers has to be negative, at least one number, because if they're all positive, this is not going to work, right? Obviously. Okay, so that should give you a clue. But anyways, let's proceed. So what was I saying? Yes, we're going to make a common denominator. Let's make one. And I just want to keep things in alphabetical order. Hopefully you don't mind, but if you multiply this by yz and yz, you're going to get yz, you're going to get xz, you're going to get xy, you know, so on and so forth. But I'd like to write the xy first because I have OCD. Okay, anyways, xy plus xz plus yz. And now we're going to divide it by the common denominator, which is xyz. As easy as xyz. Was it abc? Okay, anyways, it doesn't matter. So now, what does this fraction tell us? One of the things that's kind of interesting in math is like, what when you have a over b is equal to zero, what does that mean, right? So it's a very basic question, but actually super duper important. So this gives you two things. It's amazing, right? Like one equation gives you two results. This means a is zero and b is not zero. What happens if b is zero? Well, we run into so many problems. So here's what we're going to do. The top must be zero, xy plus xz. And we're not talking about limits here, so we're talking about real numbers. This must be zero. And x, y, z must not be 0. Okay, what does that mean? It means none of them can be 0. So x, y, z are not allowed to be 0. And notice that if they're all zeros, the first equation will be satisfied automatically, but we don't want that. That's why we do need a negative number. Make sense? Okay, cool. That kind of gives you an idea about a negative uh, number 2, I think. But anyways, let's proceed. Where do I go from here? Well, I got this. So let's take a look. It's okay to get lost, by the way. If you're solving a math problem like this one, it's always okay to get lost. So I got an equation, but I already had another equation. What was that? x plus y plus z equals 0. Yay! This gives us another system, right? And it's a little better than the first system because the first one was like, what? Reciprocals? Uh, this looks more linear, right? And actually what? This should give you a good idea. Uh, you can apply via task formulas. But, okay, too complicated. Let's go ahead and proceed with basic algebra. What can I do to get the first equation from the second equation? Now, think about it. If I square the second equation, I get the first equation, right? And something else, of course. Let's go ahead and square x plus y plus c. Hopefully, you know this formula. It's similar to x plus y squared with more terms. So, it looks like this x squared plus y squared plus z squared, and I recommend you to memorize it because it comes up a lot. And then plus, you know how with the first one, like if z was 0, we would get x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. Instead, you're going to get xy, xz, and yz multiplied by 2. So you're going to get all the two-way products. Make sense? Okay. Now, what do we know? We know a lot. Look at this. We know that x plus y plus z is 0. We also know that this is 0. Wow, that's beautiful. But what does that give you? Well, it gives you another equation, which is also 0. And that's actually very significant. You should know this because we use this principle to solve 
quite a few problems. I could probably share some of these here if I can find the links or if I don't forget. And you know I'll forget, so remind me, please. What does this imply? This implies a very beautiful result. And that is, if x, y, z are real, and we want them to be real numbers, this implies x equals 0, y equals 0, and z equals 0. Isn't that beautiful? Like you got a single equation and you get three results. That's beautiful. That's how we can solve some of these equations. But this is problematic. Remember the other condition. x, y, z, the product, should not be 0. But if x, y, z are all 0, which we already said, that is going to satisfy both of these equations, then you're going to run into problems. Because the reciprocal of 0, what's the reciprocal of 0? It doesn't exist, right? It's undefined. Okay, so there are no solutions. Well, let me just say, there are no real solutions. Do you think there are complex solutions to this equation? Please let me know. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the second method and we'll just finish up. So hopefully second method. And by the way, let me know which method you like better uh, because I really love your feedback and I learn a lot from you guys. I don't know what you think, but I'm not really like, not a professional mathematician. I just like to solve math problems. Okay, let me tell you that, a little disclaimer. So we have this system and my second method basically depends on treating Z as a number. So by the way, uh, you could replace Z with something like one and kind of go from there, you know. But I'm gonna go ahead and um, treat it as a constant anyways, okay? So let's go ahead and do the following. I'd like to separate the z. So let's go ahead and write this as x plus y. x plus y equals negative z. And 1 over x plus 1 over y equals negative 1 over z. Okay, great. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Make a common denominator again. x plus y over xy equals negative 1 over z. But I do know that x plus y is negative z, so I can sub. Substitution is powerful. You know that, right? So I get negative z over xy equals negative 1 over z. I don't know where to put the negative. Let's put it here. Now, this gives us something interesting. Negative z squared equals negative xy. Negative z squared equals negative xy. Now, how does that help me, right? Well, here's the thing. I can kind of come up with an equation. So from here I get xy equals z squared and x plus y equals negative z. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll make up an uh, equation, a quadratic equation, whose roots are x and y. And obviously z is one of the roots as well. But uh, using Vieta's formulas or theorem, uh, let's let t represent x, y, z. Okay? So t squared minus, remember, uh, the sum goes here, so it's going to be plus zt, plus z squared equals 0. So this is the equation whose roots are x and y, and of course, z will be part of that too because of symmetry. Okay? But, you know, don't worry about z now because this is quadratic, so I don't want to confuse you. What are the roots, though? You can solve it using quadratic formula. Negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus... 4ac. It's like, what? There are no real solutions, obviously, because this equation does not have real solutions. So that brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.